Smarty Pants, a new device invented in Alberta, is helping prevent pressure sores in people immobilized by spinal cord injuries or strokes. Sensory Motor Adaptive Rehabilitation Technology was developed with $5 million in funding from Alberta Innovates Health Solutions and Alberta Health and Wellness. Well, the device we're looking at today is a Smarty Pants device. On the front here of uh, this mannequin you'll see a stimulator and the stimulator unit actually looks like this. And this uh, stimulator when we open up has a number of controls on it that our research staff and the nursing staff would use. But ultimately they emit a tiny electrical stimulus for about 10 seconds of every 10 minutes. And that stimulus gets routed through wires, like these, into a set of electrodes. Now on the mannequin, what you can see as the wires come out of the stimulator unit, they're wired through this smarty pants, and ultimately they end up connecting with the two electrodes that we see here. And those two electrodes sit over the gluteal muscles, and they, when the electrical impulse travels to them, causes a contraction of the gluteal muscles which can relieve pressure and can restore oxygen and important nutrients to the area of the buttocks. I'm probably the most active quadriplegic in the unit. Uh, I want to be up, I want to be doing things and um, you know, people are always surprised, well you're, you're up in your chair 12 hours a day. Um, so it gives me peace of mind that I'm not potentially injuring myself in a way that's going to really bite me. Smarty pants look like black bike shorts and fit like traditional underwear, but are designed to deliver a mild electrical shock to stimulate the muscles of the wearer. Put the electrodes in place, turn it on, and then slowly increase the current until you can visibly see um, the gluteus muscles contract. You want to have a strong contraction, but not too strong. The stimulated movement brings fresh blood and oxygen to the muscles, thus preventing pressure sores. Probably dealing with a few years for us to be able to run an efficacy study. So we have to first complete the study that we're doing, enroll enough patients so that we're sure that this is a safe and it's feasible for us to employ in a larger study, and then we can go after that important question of efficacy.